sub-Saharan Africa lags behind other regions such as Asia in moving away from cash to plastic money. One Nigerian company is aiming to close that gap by tapping into growing appetite for smart cards across the continent. The need for secure electronic cards carrying sensitive data is acute in many African parts, particularly in the banking sector. In sub-Saharan Africa, only 43% of people aged above 15 years have a bank account, according to the World Bank Global Findex database. That figure has grown from 34% since 2014, highlighting the potential for growth. What gives us so much joy is that um, is able to convert a lot of our ex, um, a lot of what we import to being locally produced, you know, and that's that, and that is what I think the entire continent um, should focus focus on. We're not just in manufacturing, but we're in manufacturing and technology, you know. So it's the two areas where we were basically consumers, you know. And so it's just nice to be part of the story, to be able to be the first to, to create this sort of plant here. Nigeria's central bank has implemented policies aimed at encouraging a move away from cash, as have Ghana, Kenya and Rwanda, in large part motivated by efforts to tackle fraud, theft and money laundering. Kofo Agikube, who 12 years ago founded Secure ID, which produces more than 200 million cards each year, said more African companies should use manufacturing to harness business opportunities arising from technological adverses. I think there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, we would like to strengthen our footprint um, across Africa and do a lot more things than we are because a lot of our market is still within Nigeria. Um, but... We, we feel that the same gap and unmet need that we saw 12 years ago in Nigeria are the same, is the same gap that seems to exist in other African countries. She said she believes there is a gap in other African markets for manufacturing of smart cards. But manufacturing for just under 8% of Nigeria's GPD, according to the World Bank, dwarfed by services at 52% and agriculture running at 21%. High-tech exports from Nigeria, which relies on oil for more than 90% of foreign exchange, account for less than 2% of the total. If I were to go to a bank at that point in time to request for a card, it could take three months to six months for my cards to come. And so that was a gap that I saw in the system. And the idea came, and the idea was to actually set up a world-class manufacturing plant that offers smart card solutions and digital solutions, not just for Nigeria, but for Africa. In many African countries, poor infrastructure makes it difficult for manufacturers to operate in Nigeria. Congested ports, pothole roads, and slow border processing have hamstrung many industries and leave Nigeria heavily dependent on imports from textiles to tomatoes.